Thanks a lot, Craig, and good evening. The Perth Wildcats are celebrating a record fifth NBL championship after a convincing victory in the deciding game of their grand final series against the Wollongong Hawks. In front of a capacity home crowd, the Wildcats fought back from an early deficit to score a 24-point win and secure their first title in a decade. The Wildcats are the first club to win five NBL championships, but they had to survive a scare against Wollongong to get there. With an outstanding record at home, Perth went in as heavy favourite but started poorly and fell behind by 11 points early in the second quarter. I tell you what, the Perth Wildcats, they are in danger of this game starting to slip away from. But the Wildcats fought back to reduce the deficit to one by half time. A dominant third term by Perth proved the difference. Series MVP Kevin Lish finished with 29 points, including a third quarter buzzer beater that increased the Wildcats' lead to 15. From there, a Hawks comeback never looked likely. Retiring forward Martin Catalini finished on a winning note as Perth celebrated its first title since 2000. Coming up through this club, idolising this club, Getting four championships and in my last game, getting one on my hometown, couldn't be happier, mate. It's a really hard emotion to describe. You know, there's, there's relief, there's... I'm overawed by it as well. Obviously, you know, we're, you're disappointed when to, to lose such a big game, but, you know, I just got to admire the courage of, of our team and, and what they've done all year. The Wildcats' celebrations started at a function with their fans and went well into the night. They continued today as players gathered at Catalini's house. But for Rob Beveridge and club administration, there's little time for rest, with the number of players out of contract. The next week's going to be a busy week. Uh, there's no doubt we want to try and lock in as many of our players within the next week for sure. After doubts this season would even go ahead, the NBL is showing signs of improvement, with crowds for the season up 5%. An announcement is expected next week on the makeup of next season's competition, with a team from Sydney likely to be added. Blake Kagey, ABC News.